Mr. Kostic, this is your son's girlfriend. Yes. And is that your son? Yes. And I assume since he's sitting there, he's her witness. How long has your son and Miss Ramirez been a couple? I believe about five years. Do they have children together? Together, no. But your son has children from a previous relationship or marriage? Yes. How many? One. How many grandchildren do you have? One. And that's a boy or a girl? Girl. And you are fond of her? Yes. It is your claim that Ms. Ramirez owes you for two things. Owes you for a loan for a vet bill for her dog, then some charges she made on a credit card that she had of yours that were unauthorized charges. Ms. Ramirez says both were gifts and that some of those items were purchased for your son's daughter and they were all necessary things. And she really had your permission to use the card for those things. No. I have a more interesting question since we're talking about, it's not an insignificant amount of money, but it's, it's not life-changing money. No. Because you're suing her for 500 and some odd dollars. And I assume that your relationship with your son has been strained over a variety of things. Yes. So I have to assume that there's more to this than $571. And I usually don't like to go into those stories, but it's curious to me. Do you see your granddaughter regularly? Uh, yes, I see her uh, once a month, but... Lately, I've had her for two months. Lately? The last two months, I, we've had our granddaughter. Living with you? Staying us for, for the summer. Oh, good. Summer good vacation. You. Does she see her father? No. Is there any reason for that? You'd have to ask him about that. My granddaughter's mother and, and my son are, don't speak, and there's issues between them two. But as a result of that, he doesn't see his daughter? No. Even at your house? No. Got it. In the past, he has, but not in the last almost year. Okay, got it. Tell me about the loan for the vet. Well, it was around uh, the first week of November uh, 2016 that my son called. Linda's dog was in the hospital, was sick. He wanted to borrow money. I wouldn't lend him the money. I told him I didn't have the money. So a couple hours later, I got a phone call again saying that there was uh, care credit at the vet if I would apply for it and Linda was going to pay me back that amount for that bill. That was the 200 and $42.40. I agreed to that. The card came. They came to my house. Linda sat down. I handed her the card, and she said that she would pay me back within 30 days. Well, the card came. That took a few days. What happened to the vet bill? They took their dog home. I guess the dog was okay, and they had to take, they had to take the card to the vet, I guess, for them to charge the amount on the card. I had the uh, text from her telling me that what the approved amount was, and it went through, and telling me thank you very much. I'd like to see it. How old are you, Ms. Ramirez? 42. Do you have children? I do. How many? I have four minor children. Do you work? I don't right now. Who supports your family? We do, and then I get alimony from my previous marriage. How and much? 3,500 a month. Is that alimony or maintenance or child support? You get a different amount for child support. It's just alimony. What about child support? I don't get child support. Our children are grown already, so it's just alimony that I get. When does that stop? When he wants it to stop, I guess, but, or if I remarry, and that's what we're planning on remarrying, getting married in September. Uh, do you live with him? Yes. Does he work? He does. Well, then why didn't you have $242 to go to the vet? Well, we were at that time, we did it because it was around Christmas time, and then I had bought gifts and stuff, and it just happened. The puppy got sick out of nowhere, and we didn't have it. <clears throat> so I didn't want to ask his dad. I don't like asking his family for anything because they don't like me, and I'm fine with that. My sister would have gladly helped me, my ex-husband would have helped me, my brother, and they wouldn't have wanted anything. And we took us, we do favors for each other. That's what family is for, you know? I'd do the same for them. Well, anyhow, okay, we applied for the care credit. He gave his son permission to go ahead and apply for it. Mm -hmm. And I did, I thanked him, and I said that was nice of him that he was doing well, that kind of stuff. Then, then the next month you got another $3,500. Why didn't you give him back the $200? Because we weren't supposed to pay him back. It was just, um, out of the kindness of his heart. Then in January, he started sending me texts saying that you owe me this much. And I just gave the phone to his son and I said, what is your dad talking about? And then he called his dad and then they talked, everything was fine. And then even in, up until, it was nothing, it was, everything was fine. And up until May for his birthday, we bought him a $400 recliner as a gift, like a, you know, it was gratitude. I gave it to him, a gift, a token of my gratitude for helping me with the dog. Business. And, and so, you know, and Christmas, if it was just a Christmas gift, I would have bought him a t-shirt or a sweater.